God wants you to come with a broken and contrite heart over your sin. So many people think just because they go to church on Sunday that they've been born again and they're right with God. The Bible says, Whosoever has been born of God doth not commit sin. But he who is begotten of God keeps himself and the wicked one does not touch him. So when you're born again, when you're born again, you'll walk in newness of life. You'll no longer be led around like a, like a, like a dog around a leash. Your sin, your sin leads you to hell, folks. Your sin will lead you to hell. But if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord, He'll lift you up. He'll give you a new heart. He'll give you new thoughts and new desires. But you must lay down your pride today. Lay down your pride today. The Bible says pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. The first sin was pride, folks. The first sin was pride. Satan, Lucifer, wanted to ascend to heaven. He wanted to be his own God. Now everybody wants to be their own God. Everybody says, I'll do it my way. I'm going to do it my way. But meanwhile, you cry yourself to sleep. Meanwhile, you have thoughts of suicide. Meanwhile, you're bound by your drugs. You're bound by your alcoholism. But you want to do it your way. God wants you to do it His way. God says, come to me broken, humbly, contrite over the sins you've committed against Him. The Bible says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will hear their land. God wants to forgive you folks of your sin. He wants to forgive you of your sin. But you must cry to God say, Lord, Lord, forgive me of my sin. Forgive me of my lust. Forgive me of my porn watching. Forgive me of my drunkenness. Come to God broken, contrite over your sin, people. What if you die tonight a sinner? What if you die tonight? The wages, folks, the wages of your sin is death. But the gift, there's a gift of God. His son, Jesus Christ. John 14, 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. Nobody gets to heaven, folks. You're not going to make it to heaven on your own good works. You need the Lamb of God. You need Jesus. Acts 4, 12 says, There is only one name under heaven given among men and women by which we must be saved. God bless you, sir. It's the name Jesus, the Son of God. Today, cry out to God, say, Lord, forgive me of my sin. Forgive me of my lies. Yeshua HaMashiach, sir. He's your Messiah. Yeshua. He can forgive you of your sin. Oh, uh, today, turn to Jesus, the Son of God. He came to the Israelites. He came to the Jews, the Bible says. He came to his own, and his own received him not. But as many as that received him to them, he gave the power, the power to become the children of God to those that believe on his name, who are not born of the flesh, nor of the blood, nor by the will of man, but of God. And the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Christ came to the earth. The word of God became flesh and walked among us folks for 33 years. The Son of God, God in the flesh, walked among us, never sinned one time. He's the perfect sacrifice to take away your sin. But you must repent. Repent or you'll perish. It's a warning from the Bible, folks. It's a warning. It's also a commandment of God. Therefore lay aside all filthiness, and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness, folks. Receive with a meekness heart, with a humble heart. The implanted word which is able to save your souls. God is so long-suffering, folks. He is so long-suffering. He's giving you another day to hear God's word. He's giving you another day to come to a knowledge of the truth. That your sin, your sin put Christ on the cross. Amen. Today, repent and turn from your sin and give your life to the Lord. 
What if you die of a fornicator tonight? What's a fornicator? Someone who has sex outside of marriage. That lead, lead, lead you straight to hell, folks. So many people smirk and laugh as they go by, bound by their sin. But today, if you humble yourself, God bless you, sir. If you humble yourself, humble yourself before the Lord. He can forgive you. He can forgive you no matter what you've done in your life. No matter what you've done in your life. There's forgiveness and mercy. The Bible says, therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. That's a promise. Draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep over your sin. Turn your laughter to mourning and your joy to sorrow, folks. Turn that laughter to mourning and that joy to sorrow over your sin. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord. And he wants to lift you up. There's forgiveness of sin, folks. Through Jesus, through repentance, through a godly sorrow over your sin. Because the Bible says, for godly sorrow produces repentance, leading to salvation. Not to be repented of. But the sorrow of the world produces death. She, John the Baptist, came before Christ. He came preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. He came to clear people's hearts of their sin so they might receive the word of God on good ground so it may produce fruit. Folks, many of you will hear God's word today. And the Bible says the enemy will come and snatch it from your heart. Some of you will receive it, but it'll be on, on stony ground and it'll, it'll rise up and be, and be scorched by the sun. Others will receive it. It'll be grown up. It'll be choked up by the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches. But some of it will fall on good ground. Some of God's word will fall on good ground and it will produce a crop. 30, 60, 90. That's where you want to be found, folks. You want to be found bearing fruit worthy of repentance. You say, I believe in God. You say, I believe in Jesus. Are you bearing fruit worthy of repentance? The Bible says in John 3, 1 John 3, 4 through 10, whoever commits sin commits lawlessness and sin is lawlessness and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him there is no sin whoever abides in him does not sin whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him so if you say you know Jesus but you continue on in your sinful ways the Bible says you've never seen him and you don't know him and Jesus says the same thing in 2 Timothy 2 19 <clears throat> He says, nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands sure, folks, having this seal. The Lord knows who are his, and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from sin. Depart from iniquity. If you say you know Jesus, if you say you know God, that means you'll be walking in newness of life. No longer bound as a sinner. No longer walking in a sinful way. You have freedom through the Lord. Freedom for the Jesus. I come out here, folks, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. He's the one who can save you from your sin. He's the one who can help you let go of that sin life. But you must be born again, the Bible says. You must be born again. I'm sure you've heard that many times. <clears throat> come to a knowledge of the truth. God is so long-suffering with us. God is so long-suffering, sir. Willing that none should perish, but that all should reach repentance, ladies. What if today is the last day on earth for you? What if today is the last day on earth for you, folks? 150,000 people die every day on the earth. And the Bible says most of them, folks, most of them won't enter God's kingdom. That's a sad thing. Most of them will go to God's garbage can, which is hell. But you can be saved today. 
if you repent, confess and forsake your sins, and then the Lord will show you mercy. There is mercy for the humble in heart, for those who are ready to come with a contrite spirit, a broken spirit over their sin. The Bible says, moreover, brethren, I declare to the gospel which I preached to you, which you also received and which you stand, by which you are saved. If you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you have believed in vain, for I have delivered you first of all which I also received, that Christ, Christ died for our sins. As the scriptures say, he was dead, he was buried, and he rose again on the third day. As the scriptures say, folks, sir, you don't have no idea what you're talking about. That's, that's, that's Allah, sir. That's, that's Muhammad. That's not Jesus. Muhammad was a child molester, not Jesus. Jesus was the perfect Lamb of God. Jesus was the perfect Lamb of God. He's the one who rose from the grave. He defeated sin and death, not your fake religions. Folks, turn from all dead religion today. Being a Catholic doesn't save you. Following our law doesn't save you. The Pope can't help you. Christ can free you from your sin. He's the one who can free you and forgive you of your sin. There needed to be a sacrifice, folks. There needed to be a perfect sacrifice for sin. And that was God's son. That was the son of God. He's the one who can forgive you of your sin, folks. The Bible says in Romans 6, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. God forbid. God forbid. That's what the Bible says, folks. I can't stand in the middle. But then no one's gonna hear my voice, sir. Yeah, right down the end. Okay. All right. All right. Sure. Thank you. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Today, folks, give your life to Jesus. We're not promised tomorrow. There is forgiveness of sin through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you repent today, if you confess and forsake all known sin, and then Jesus will show you mercy. What if we die a sinner tonight, folks? What if you die a sinner tonight? God is so long-suffering, folks, willing that none should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Repentance is a change of mind, a change of thoughts, a change of lifestyle, and a turning from sin and to Christ and God for forgiveness. Christ is the one who can forgive you of your sin, folks. The perfect Lamb of God, He can forgive you of your sin. Won't you turn to Jesus today, folks? Won't you give your life to Christ today, the Son of God?